let us draw a PDA for a raised to n, b raised to n uh, grammar where n is greater than 0. That means the null string is not an uh, not a valid string. So our valid strings are a, b, double a, double b, a, b, a, b. Though it contains equal number of a's and b's but it is not of the form a raised to n, b raised to n. So it will not be accepted. Triple a, triple b like this. These are the set of uh, strings that are possible and many more such strings are possible. Let us try to draw the PDA for this. So first our algorithm is same as that of a raised to n, b raised to n where n was greater than or equal to 0 but the only difference over here is now uh, condition that they have specified is n is greater than 0. That means epsilon is, a, is not a valid string. So let us start with an example a raised to uh, 3, b raised to 3. So we have 3 a's and 3 B's. The simple algorithm that we are going to use is for uh, whichever A we receive at the start that will be pushed onto the stack. So we read an A, we push that onto the stack, move right, read the next input symbol. If it is A, push it onto the stack, read the next symbol, A, push it onto the stack, read the next symbol if it is B. Then for this particular B, what we are going to do is pop the previously pushed A from this stack. So we are going to pop the symbol from the stack, check whether it is A. If it is A, go ahead. We are going to read the next symbol, which what is that? B. Read the next symbol. If it is B, check what is getting popped from the stack. If it is A, go ahead. Read the next symbol. It is B. So we are going to pop the symbol from the stack, check what it is, it is A, so its a string is valid till now and then we will move ahead. The next symbol that we have received is blank. Pop the symbol from the stack and check what it is. If it is blank, string is accepted, otherwise the string will be rejected. So what we are going to do is start, read the symbol from the stack, sorry not from the stack, read the symbol from the input tape, input string A. If it is A, push that symbol A onto the stack. Continue this operation till the time we are not receiving B. So when on reading, if we receive a B, what does it mean? Now A raised to N, B raised to N make up, B raised to N has started. So we are going to pop A from the stack. If the pop symbol is A, go ahead with the reading of the next symbols. So what we will be doing is, uh, read the next symbol. If it is B, pop the contents from the stack check what it is. If it is A, continue. So this is the loop we will be continuing for all the A's that have been pushed onto the stack and for that particular we are getting the B. Now when we are reading, uh, in the uh, we have written this read to because once we start reading B, A's are not allowed. So that's why we are not using this read one. We, are, we have created a new read to operation. After that, when you are performing reading operation, that means you have started re receiving B and now you get a blank. What does it mean? The string has ended. We are going to pop and check what is there onto the stack. On stack, if we get blank, the string is accepted. Right? Now, after uh, when we are searching for this blank and uh, after popping up, if, if we receive an A, so the string should be rejected. Onto the stack, we have pushed only two symbols that were um, blank and A. So uh, let us start from each uh, read and pop operations uh, whether all the inputs conditions have been uh, input symbols have been checked or not we will check that first. So read one A and B both the symbols have been checked but blank has not been checked. When we are performing this read one and we receive a blank what does it mean the string is epsilon string which is not acceptable because condition is n is greater than 0. So once it is compulsory that we should receive an A and then B. We should not receive a blank over here. So if we receive a blank, the string should be rejected. So A, B and blank, all three operations done from pop. Now with this pop was there when we have received the B. So it is compulsory that we should get A only. But instead of getting A, what if I get a blank? So the string should be rejected. If I get a blank over here. In read 2. Read 2 is once we have started receiving B for reading the remaining B's. We are using read 2. Now in this state if what if I get an A. The string should be rejected. Because once you start receiving B you should not receive any A. 
so the string will be rejected if we receive an a that's it uh, we have completed our diagram thank you